and they don't know what to do and it's like is that dip uh nicotine you want some no 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 oh. i dipped for a long time this is like these are nicotine pouches so it's like uh they're to tobacco free were you a dipper or a smoker? never neither neither i listened to a podcast on how nicotine uh helps with like if you've suffered brain trauma or ct oh, really? and how nic yeah they've seen like as you get older the one thing that they've seen in smokers and it's not because the cigarettes but it's from nicotine from the cigarettes one thing they all have in common is there's something like 90 percent less likely to have dementia because of the nicotine what it does for your brain is insane oh, shit. so i was like man how can i get nicotine i saw spray then I saw these tobacco-free uh, pouches. I was like, I'll try those. I don't know. I feel smarter. Let me ask you something. <laughs> I need to know something. I can't remember a single name off any show I watch. <laughs> you like, can I, dude. If someone has to be, I just go, well, the guy yeah. and then the girl. Like, name was, I don't know what that is. No, character I, names? Never. I'm bad with UFC names. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a major star, I'm bad with it. It's like uh, I don't like my brain's just like not important. You, dude, <laughs> we're doing our best. You don't need to remember that. <laughs> I'm the same way. I think mine is weed induced, but, but I think. But, but then also like it's like my brain must be okay because if if tonight you ask me to do an hour of material, I can remember my Different. hour of material. I don't write it down. Your brain tells here. you what's important. My brain goes, yeah. dude, no, we got enough going on. Yeah, but you don't need to know the name of fucking the cast members on Yellowstone. No, no yeah. You're good. Your your brain makes the noise that Whitney does at the beginning of her podcast. Bop, bop, bop. It's, it's gone. <laughs> like, okay, that's it. I don't no, need that. You're yeah. good. You're good. <laughs> I'm Not important, that. Bubba. Yeah, yeah. I'm Not good. for you. I I don't I, I'm terrible with names. But if you're asking me what was the name of the person, or you know, you know what I'm absolutely terrible with? lyrics for songs ah the worst i make them up <laughs> I, oh, I dude can't. my girl yeah. goes my cousin blah 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 is coming over i go have i met her she goes are you shitting me <laughs> we've been together for six you you've met her multiple times i go what's her name <laughs> and i go what's her husband's name she's like unbelievable you went on a bike ride with that guy i'm like <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know his name. <laughs> yeah, I called him I just Bubba kept going, the whole time. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you here's the She thing. goes, You're the worst. I'm like, no, no, no. You gotta remember, my brain only stores so much. So my brain goes, You really don't need to know that. Beep beep. <laughs> Did you tell her I can either remember your cousin's <clears throat> name or yours? Yeah, well, you pick Take your here. choice. I have one spot left. Do you do you I, I have dying to know this because I was watching some UFC over the weekend, some highlights, some clips. Sure. When you're getting when you're in the ring or after the ring after getting hit that many times does that and immediately after does that ever enter i hope there's no permanent not well especially when i was fighting like ct and brain trauma wasn't really even conversation like it wasn't it was just like oh you got your bell rung like you're fine that was man. the term when i was growing up like too. oh you got your bell rung like yeah. i remember in football they would put me in on certain plays just to see me collide with this guy brian ewu who played for the chicago bears and was the captain of our team but it was called uh uh a 94 uh, power power uh power toss so the fullback would just run as fast as can and the outside linebacker would be there and we just it'd be the it'd be like two battering rams but the entire team and coaches would stop because everyone would look at the play. The f it would give away the play, so the guy would be like, oh, here we go. And the whole team would just watch. I remember just like us bashing heads as hard as we can every week, twice a week. And now I think I'm like, what the fuck were we doing? Let dude? me ask you something. And then in fighting, it's like, oh, you got your bell rung. Just, you know, just lay low, like drink water. But what's happening in the ring when you get your bell rung? You don't even think about it. But aren't you trying to regain your senses, or you? Or, yeah, but or you're like it'll come back. kicked in. Yeah, it's like your survival. Like you gotta come back. You're just trying to buy time, shake off the cobwebs, as they call it. Like you're just trying to maneuver so you don't get hit again. It's still. But, but I remember it wasn't good. I remember I would be in the ring and Bruce Buffer would announce my name, or he he would announce somebody like let's say he announced Matt Matrone's name first, and they announce mine. And as he announced my name, I would have my head go, "What the fuck am I doing?" As he's shouting in my face, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? I, I, it's I, not good. It baffles me that if I knew this morning I'm getting up and going to work and someone's going to punch me in the face multiple times at my job. It's the toughest job in the world. Well, how many times do boxers you know get hit in the face in a fight? Well, I mean, that's the point, right? A hun I mean, hundreds. Uh, uh, that's like saying how often does Michael Phelps get wet? That's what I'm saying. Like, 
that is your job to and i people i know there are a lot of people like this pussy that's not oh, your job god. either motherfucker oh god Do you know what i mean so you call me pussy all you the, want the, the other thing the, the you know the the way people should have more respect for fighters is like let's say you're a guy like uh somebody coming up you can name anyone but let's say you beat the number eight guy in the world let's say you're ranked number 10 you beat the number eight guy in the world and you go on vacation you know that as soon as you get back there's this monster ranked number six that they're going to pair you up with and you know how fucking tough he is and people are like oh just relax take it easy but you just Never. it's like it's like if you got bullied at school and you know the next day you got to see that bully mm. it's that all the time for me it was it was like all the time just like oh you just have that pit in your stomach yeah. you're like oh god he's so good <laughs> And then, uh, and then you beat him. And then uh, you beat him. You beat the number six guy. Well, you know the number five guy. You know the number four guy. Does, you, you're looking through the list just like, wow. Does anybody ever... And so and one of the reasons I like sitting down with you is I'm going to ask a lot of layman's questions. <laughs> no, please. That, that other people would never <clears throat> ask. Does anybody... This is going to sound dumb, and maybe it's just the little brother in me thinking about how to win fights. Yeah. But does anybody ever decide, all right, I'm not showering for a week. I'm not brushing my teeth, and I'm not washing my Wouldn't hat. matter. Wouldn't matter. Wouldn't matter. Especially in there now. It's a lot. You're like, ask guy someone's like, shit. And then you just beat the shit out of him. But so, so that doesn't matter. That, that doesn't, if someone came in and was like, I. No, I remember the only time, like, I remember when I was fighting Crow Cop, I was like, God, he smells funny. And I was like, yo, and then this is, while my nose is broken, we're in the middle of, the, it's the biggest fight in my career. Yeah. It's in uh, uh, New Jersey, sold out crowd. John Jones fighting Shogun for his first world title. He, biggest fight in my life. He's a legend. I remember my nose is shattered. I'm bleeding everywhere. And we're there and the crowd's like chanting or whatever. I remember thinking, God, he smells funny. <laughs> and then I swear to God, I'm going, I'm thinking, look at this. <laughs> this is, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking, God, he smells funny, and then, I, and then my head, I go, well, he's probably Croatian, so it's just, it's just, it's just different, you know? Like, does he? Does, maybe he thinks I smell funny, and then he could goosh elbow, and they're like, all right, let's stop thinking about that. Listen, but the, when I get off stage at the Laugh Factory, right away you go, bro, I figure out what you look like. I'm like, what? This is front of a bunch of other comics. I'm like, what? You're like, you look like a Rottweiler. We got a shit together. Oh, you do, bro. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm just saying, dude. Grab that mic, son. You do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, look.